Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the Interbubs, and welcome back to episode 5 of this Let's Play Oxygen Not Included series with me, Ren Diggity Dog. This is the Ren Skull Stress Incorporated Colony, and we are cooking with freaking gas right now, baby. In the previous episode, we were trying to find a way to pump all of this beautiful water into a brand new structure called an electrolyzer, which is going to turn elect uh, water into oxygen for our little freaking colonists. And that is a serious plan that I think we need to get going. Since we were last together also, our mealworms have fully grown, which means they can be harvested and turned into food. We've got a little bit of a food shortage going on in the colony right now, which is, well, to be be honest with you very very concerning and i'm trying to get on top of that but unfortunately the colonists are eating the mealworms before they can get converted into freaking munch bars idiots uh, i think we're gonna have to get back to fabricating uh freaking bars out of algae or something because yeah these fools are just eating the silkworms i think what we need to do is get to a proper food production so that that doesn't happen again it looks like we just harvested all of that algae though which is great and rosalind seems to be on the case over here or not just jumping up and down like a fool <laughs> and hopefully in today's episode these idiots are going to manage to get this water piped in now i want to try something very interesting with you guys today okay i've been thinking a lot about this water situation currently we need to get as much water in our colony as possible this water is very far away from us right now and this water is particularly far away what if we were to make a couple of tanks so to speak that are going to be holding our water that way we can have our water source really close to the colony and using this really cool stuff in plumbing, I reckon we'll be able to transport, uh, transport this water around our colony. Check it out. We've got liquid pipes. We've also got liquid pumps and we've got liquid vents. I reckon using liquid vents and pipes, we could make like a huge, I don't know, reservoir of water. I also want to show you guys this very interesting thing that I found, a lavatory. Now take a look at this. It requires five kilograms of water to use, but it does output five kilograms of contaminated water. For some reason, these guys are weeing out five kilograms of water. That's insane. Like, how massive are their bladders, man? That's absolutely ridiculous. However, this lavatory does produce water for us. Even though it's contaminated, there is a way that I think we may be able to turn that contaminated water into, into fresh water. Because take a look at this. We've unlocked the research for something called a water purifier, which uses sand to purify contaminated water. So using this thing... We're going to be able to turn we into drinkable water. Well, that's the theory anyway, and I want to see if we can actually make that happen today. I'm going to crank up the speed just a tad, because it looks like our guys are taking a little bit too long to do the task that I've asked them to. I guess they are running out of resources. Let's take a look at raw materials. We've got loads of copper ore, but no, like, general ore, I suppose. Um, I guess we probably need to start digging that out, but we've got a, lot, a bunch of digging that we can do down here. I guess they're not coming here because of all of the carbon dioxide and whatnot, so maybe what we need to do is install a couple of these algae terrariums down here just so that it's more of a less or less of a hostile environment uh, for, for our colonists exhumavoid running away on the hamster wheel and look at that man that's awesome a lice loaf just got pooped out of the musher so loads of food is starting to arrive i don't know why it's being left there though that's a little bit worrying maybe what we should do is stick up a storage container next to the mush maker and we'll make the storage container just hold food so that they don't have to run all the way up there right like that probably makes a lot of sense this thing is currently obstructed for some reason not entirely sure what's going on here hello can you freaking can you grow please it's stifled apparently um and this one is stifled too Maybe because there's some stuff that needs to get picked up over here. Um, okay, there we go. So that's looking pretty good. We have a bunch of digging, though, that these fools need to do. And they're taking a long-ass time to complete these tasks. Not very happy with this. I think I'm going to set up the priority of this task to nine. I want them to finish this off as fast as possible. I hope they will prioritize that. Yep, they picked up the algae from up there, which we set them to do last time, which is great. And, uh, oh my goodness, our little bling-bling thing is blinging. And I'm kind of on the fence whether or not to welcome a new colonist here guys because the more colonists we get the more resources we're going to use up right and the more food we have to produce the more waste they're going to produce the more we the more carbon dioxide it's going to start getting a little bit scary over here i think if we start adding loads of colonists 
So I'm a little bit worried, if I'm honest with you. I guess this needs to go too, though. Uh, so I think I'm going to dig that away so that we can actually make our pump. Oh, the pump is actually made. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, so let's start doing some actual piping over here. Guys, please, can you finish off the pipe work so that we can start pumping water into our oxidizers? Let's set this to a priority of nine. I think we need to run a power cable to this thing, though, right? Yes, we do. Okay, that's bad. I completely forgot about that, or I guess I didn't realize that. We got some power over here, though. So Let's run a power cable all the way along the pipe cable. Keep things nice and neat. We're going to run this all the way down and plug into that. 240 watts for that thing. That seems pretty high. Uh, let's set the priority of this cable to max also uh, so that we can start getting that done. Uh, now that these ladders are produced too, I guess we can, we can stop this. Yeah, we don't need these anymore. They actually picked up that algae just fine. So thanks for that, guys. Good work, everybody who's now asleep for crying in a bucket. Okay, this might be the perfect opportunity to look at the potential welcoming of a new colonist. Let's head over to the print, the printing pod and have a look. Is there anybody here that is worth adding? We've got a scientist, we've got a bodybuilder, and we've got a technician. This bodybuilder's looking pretty spicy, isn't he? Athletics, cooking, digging, plus six tinkering, construction creativity, plus seven strength. He's a grease monkey with a small bladder and a yokel, though. This duplicate isn't the brightest star in the sky. He cannot perform research. You know what, man? That's actually, that's not too bad a thing, right? If he can't do research. I guess that's pretty cool. Now, do we know any bodybuilders in our world um, that I can think of? I'm trying to think of anybody that I know that is a bodybuilder. Oh, I know somebody from YouTube that's a bodybuilder. I'm going to call this guy Mr. Tweeday, a friend of mine that I made at Gamescom a couple years ago. He is a Counter-Strike player on YouTube and Twitch. And uh, yeah, he's an absolutely ridiculously muscly guy. So please say hello to Mr. Tweeday. We're going to welcome him in. I don't think I'm going to print any more people for a while though, guys. But I do feel that Mr. Tweeday's strengths will actually be really good for the colony. Uh, he seems like a pretty hard worker. He's a bodybuilder, man. Maybe we can use him to fight off some of these disgusting mobs that we see, right? Like this hatch that we've entrapped down here. Anyway, welcome to the freaking colony, Mr. Tweeday. Look at him. Already get into work, man. He's not messing around. That's what I like to see. Okay, cabling is getting done. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. All the colonists are on it right now. Fantastic. We're going to get our little pump fired up. Have I actually wired this thing correctly, though? Let's just make sure. Yep, that's wired correctly. Okay, so Electrolyze is about to get some freaking juice in it, finally. And then hopefully the guys will get to all of these tasks over here, too. I guess I want to start digging out up here also, right? The plan over here is to actually make a base. <laughs> That's the plan. We've got a nice big second story over here. And I'd like to eventually move all of our power generation up to this floor. And then make this floor like a complete food generation floor. I want to make this floor like the water floor also. This is where we'll like sort out our water. And on each floor we will have oxygen generation. Um, and then maybe what we could do is like pump all of those gases or all of that oxygen through the colony somehow. I don't know, man. We're going to have to get to it. And we got a, the, the lavatory is still covered in dirt right now, man. This is not good. Oh, look at all the contaminated water. They, they've been weeing in the fresh water, you idiots. Oh, man, that is absolutely disgusting. Uh, hello, can we please finish off these tasks? Like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Why won't you finish off the task of building the pipage? I mean, maybe what we need to do is cancel all other tasks around here, right? So maybe what we need to do is, like, cancel all of this digging. Let's cancel everything. Um, there oh, jeez, no, that's... That... That was not what we wanted to do right now, because that's going to destroy everything. I... I'm a freaking idiot. Well, that was almost the destruction of the entire base. I'm such a freaking idiot. Check it out, though, guys. I found this command, which is called C, uh, which is actually really awesome. So say, for example, I by mistake do that. I can just press C, and then I can cancel those orders. So that's super lucky, man. Jeez. Oh, man, look at this. <laughs> they already started breaking the lamp over there. Um, our storage facility is now ready. So let's say that this thing is only going to hold organic materials, and it looks like we need to plant a meal uh, seed over here, a mealwood seed see there too. Okay, so colonies back up and running. Good stuff. I've cancelled a bunch of orders and hopefully that means the guys will actually finish this off. I'm thinking maybe they can't reach here. Stress, come on, do your job, man. Let's have a look. Is there oxygen? Oh, there is oxygen, but stress is... Well, she built one cable at least. She kind of did her job. Rosalind is coming up to pick up the slack though. Come on, Rosalind, you can do it. Oh, she's digging. 
uh, yeah, uh, Rosalind, that's not what I needed you to do over there. Mr. Tweedy, dude, uh, we don't need water, man. We can have infinite water if you just finish the freaking piping, you idiots. Jeez. Um, okay, well, hopefully they'll get there eventually. Let's, oh no, I lost my research station. Oh, I'm such a fool. Okay, let's replace the research station over here. Or maybe what we should do is, is mo start moving our research somewhere else. But you know what? Actually, it was working pretty good down here, wasn't it? Okay, let's rebuild our research station. Jeez, I'm such an idiot. Now, what is Rendog researching over here? Uh, we are currently researching um, here. San sanitation sciences. Okay, so now that we've removed the main research station, we can't really do that. But for some reason, these fools are not prioritizing the completion of this pipe. Oh, come on. Exumavoid, you idiot. Don't pick up the water. Finish the pipage over here, man. Um, okay, hang on. Can I actually make these people do stuff? Iskel, check this out. I can actually make them move to here. Is that going to actually do something? Is, is he going to move there? Let's have a look. Okay, he's going. He's going. Is he actually going to do that? Dang it, he didn't actually perform the task. Iskel, what is wrong with you, bro? Jeez. Um, this is very confusing. I'm thinking, like, maybe they don't have access to this. Maybe what we need to do is build some more ladders like this, right? So that they can get all the way down to the bottom. They seem to be picking everything up and not building this stuff, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, Exuma's gonna build the ladder, but he's not gonna do anything else. What is this waiting for? Igneous rock! Oh, I'm such an idiot! That's why they can't complete the task. They need igneous rock to complete that. So, you know what? There's a bunch of igneous rock over here. So, colony! Rally yourself and get freaking digging, baby. We need to finish that piping. Oh, man, I could have finished this piping like last episode if I'd actually checked what resources I needed for this, right? Man, I'm such a fool. Anyway, here they come. They're going to start digging up. And yeah, food situation is not looking good once again. Um, my goodness, guys. We need to find some more algae at this rate because these mealworms are just not doing the business. Let's take a look around here. Oh, there's a bunch of delicious algae over here. So I tell you what, let's do a little bit of a ladder and let's do a bunch of digging. We can get some igneous rock there too. Uh, and we'll, we'll pick up that algae. There's a little bit of the carbon dioxide here. I don't think that's going to kill the colony. Just four squares of it. So that should be all right. And now we're getting into the igneous rock. So that's good. Stress is pumping away over there. And uh, yeah, things are looking a little bit better down here in the oxygen department. So that's good. And our liquid conduits are about to be completed. Oh my goodness, come on. Is this the episode where we actually get to pump water? It's unclear right now, but here we go. Oh, it's pumping! It's pumping! Oh, that's epic. Why did it stop pumping? Oh, there we go. Okay, is it going to start pumping now? What's it missing? Um, hello? Why are you not pumping? Is there any... Anything that's been missing over here? Oh, this is probably not connect connected properly. Oh, it isn't connected properly. Okay, there we go. Priority nine. Come on, baby. Let's get this thing done and dusted. And then I think we could probably start digging all of this away too. And we can begin the task of, of building our base once again. I tell you what, guys. This is this game is stressful, man. <laughs> there, there is a lot to remember in this game. And, man, I, it's kind of difficult to, like, manage what's going on. To make sure that everything is going smoothly. I think this is one of those games where things can go horribly wrong very, very quickly, right? Like, if you don't manage your resources correctly, your little guys can run out of food, like, really fast. And when that happens, it's game over, man. Now, what's going on with this mealwood? It is overheated right now. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Is that because it's next to this algae deoxidizer? It is, is it making lots of heat? This is actually something that I haven't looked into yet. There is actually something... Oh, jeez, I haven't even started the fabrication of research over here. Uh, there is something here about heat. Check this out. Temperature modulation. A uh, thermoregulator cools the gas pipe through it, but outputs heat, or this thing, hydrofan, dissipates a small amount of heat. So that's something to look into. It looks like these plants can't actually grow because, well, it's too hot, I suppose. Um, which is very, very curious. Now, take a look at this! Oh, the water is pumping! Oh, that's so awesome! Look at that! Oh, I love that so much! The water's getting pumped directly into this, this electrolyzer. That is fantastic. Okay, so next task for us is to try and install a couple more electrolyzers um, in the colony, right? So let's start adding a few more tiles. It looks like we're going to have to expand the base a little bit in this direction. Let's get a couple of oxidizers over here, or electrolyzers, excuse me. We'll stick that one there. Then let's dig all of this away, all the way up to the very edge of the chlorine and the disgusting morb thingy. And let's build some more tiles 
oils over here and I want there to be another oxidizer directly above this one. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. So let's build an electrolyzer. Why do I keep calling it an oxidizer, man? Let's build another one over there. That's perfect. That should pump a ridiculous amount of oxygen into uh, our base. We could then get rid of these algae deoxidizers, which is going to save the algae for food and hopefully generate less heat for our mealworms to grow over here. Um, they're all overheated right now, though, which is pretty bad. Maybe what we should do is, like, disable this thing. Let's disable one of them and see if that actually affects the heating at all. Uh, hopefully that will help to cool down this particular chamber. Uh, but only time will tell. Now, <laughs> Rosalind is cleaning out the toilet. Oh, we are so close to being able to install toilets over here. Have we researched it yet? The lavatory? No, okay. Stress is playing some Minecraft. Let's have a look how far we are away from the lavatory. We should be pretty close now. Uh, okay, we're nowhere near the lavatory. 5 out of 20 and 2 out of 10. So, a lot lot of research still to go before that kicks in but hopefully we've done enough to start pumping the water all the way through our base and hopefully we'll be able to get some proper freaking water supplies going on in the colony but guys we run out of time in today's episode unfortunately i hope you have enjoyed it if you're enjoying the series man show me the love hit that like button okay and yeah we'll see you in the next episode real real soon rendigity dog signing out